crowds chanting, Love has won, a message aimed at the largest gathering of white supremacists in more than a decade on the streets of Charlottesville. Then, chaos. A car slams into a crowd of people. Go, go, go. As of late this afternoon, there have been at least 35 people treated for injuries by city personnel. 14 people have been treated for injuries resulting from individual engagements. Nine pedestrians were treated for injuries in a three vehicle crash at the intersection of 4th Street and Water Street here in downtown Charlottesville. Their injuries range from life threatening to minor. The crash also claimed the life of a 32 year old female pedestrian. President Trump responding to the deadly hate based violence. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. Thousands made their way to Emancipation Park, protesting the statue removal of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. In February, the city council voted to remove the statue, but is on hold pending litigation. The move follows efforts by communities across the South to remove Confederate iconography from public property. The rally came one day after a large group of torch-bearing white nationalists marched through the University of Virginia campus, sparking national outrage. Virginia's governor has declared a state of emergency as hundreds of police and National Guard swarm the city. And I have a message to all the white supremacists and the Nazis who came into Charlottesville today. Our message is plain and simple. Go home. You are not wanted in this great commonwealth. Shame on you.